Hey guys, Martin here for Mattress Clarity. Are you looking for a simple, streamlined mattress for an affordable price? Well, you've come to the right video, because today I'm talking about the Casper Element Mattress. I'm gonna talk about its construction, my experience with it, who it's a good fit for, and who it's not a good fit for. Let's get started. First off, if you want to see a list of our top picks for mattresses, head over to mattressclary.com. There you're going to find some other great reviews on mattresses, bedding, and pillows. And also stick around to the end of the video, I'll be answering frequently asked questions about the Casper Element mattress. So the Element comes from Casper, a producer of high quality, very popular mattresses, especially the original Casper mattress. Now the Element is a more streamlined version of that mattress, a much simpler version and a much more affordable version. I've actually tried this mattress out before when it was called the Essential. It changed the construction just a little bit, so I was excited to hop in, give my updated take on this mattress. Now let's take a look at the construction of the Element mattress. First off, it's gonna be 10 inches thick. On top, you're gonna to have a pretty thin cover. It's actually made from recycled materials, very breathable as well. The comfort layer is gonna be something called Airscape foam. It's a proprietary type of foam. It's quite responsive and breathable as well. You'll also see some perforated holes in the top layer here. Now it's very bouncy. You can see pushing my hand in, bounces back into place pretty much right away. So quite responsive. Now below that, the support layer is going to be some base foam, some standard base polyfoam. Now overall, you can see it's a pretty simple, straightforward mattress, only two layers, the airscape foam, the base layer beneath that. Think if you're a heavier person, you might press right through this top layer, feel more of the support layers beneath that, not the most comfortable option for heavier sleepers. It's a pretty bouncy, responsive mattress, I think as well, because you see, Bounces back into place pretty quickly. Not too hard to move around on this mattress. Now in terms of cooling, it should be a cooler sleeping mattress on top of a very breathable cover with this airscape foam here, some room for airflow with these holes, also a breathable foam on its own. So could be a good option, a good cooler sleeping mattress. So now let's talk about firmness and feel. In terms of firmness, I put the element at about an eight out of 10, definitely firmer than average. But I will note I'm 250 pounds and I'm a larger person. So I press further into this mattress, feel some more firmness than I think a lighter person might. So they might find it to be a softer mattress than I did. Those who are even heavier than me though, might find it to be even firmer than I did. Now, in terms of feel, it has kind of a balanced foam feel overall, very responsive. You can see I press in, Bounces back into place pretty quickly. Using the ball here as well to test out the bounce. Pretty good amount of bounce there with the Airscape foam. So it lets me know it's pretty easy to move around on this mattress. So now I wanna go through how I feel in different sleeping positions on the Casper Element mattress. First off, starting on my back, not a bad match for me, even as a heavier person. My hips sinking just the right amount and getting a decent amount of contouring and some okay support from the support layers beneath that. Moving to my side though, not the best match for me. It has a pretty thin comfort layer. I'm a larger person, I press right through that. I'm diving right into the support layers, feeling some heavy pressure on my shoulders and my hips. I'm 250 pounds, if you're lighter than me, you might feel better pressure relief, but for me, not a good match for side sleeping. Moving to my stomach at the same time, it's not supportive enough for me. And as a larger person, I definitely need more support under my hips. They're bowing in there a little bit. I'm getting out of alignment, feeling a little bit of lower back strain. Here at Mattress Clarity, I like to mix subjective opinion with objective tests. And one of those tests is the pressure map. So basically I lie down on my back, side, and stomach. And you see anywhere from blue for no pressure, all the way up to red for high pressure. Now pay close attention to my shoulders and my hips when I'm lying on my side. Let's get started. Now, if you sleep with a partner, you definitely want to think about motion transfer. Basically, if you're lying down on one side of the mattress and your partner moves around on the other side, are you going to feel that motion or not? Now, to test the motion transfer out on this mattress, I place a glass of water here in the center. I'm going to press into the other areas of the mattress, trying to make a disturbance. You see the water actually is not disturbed that much. The airscape foam is absorbing this motion quite well. I also laid down on one side of the mattress while Danny got in and out of the other side and moved around a little bit as well. I didn't feel too many of his motions transferred on my side of the mattress. So overall, I think a pretty good option for couples. 
If you sleep with a partner or you like sleeping towards the edge of the bed, you also want to think about edge support. Basically, if you're sitting down near the edge of the mattress or lying down near the edge of the mattress, are you going to feel secure or more like you're going to roll off and onto the floor? So here I'm sitting near the edge of the Element mattress. You can see it's collapsing just a little bit, but not too much. I do feel secure enough to lean over and tie my shoes. I will say it's a little bit low for a tall person like me, but that's another matter. Now lying down near the edge of the mattress, you can see I'm rolling around near the edge and it's not collapsing too much. I feel pretty secure it's lying down near the edge of the mattress. So overall, pretty good edge support. So now let's talk with the pros of who I think the element might be a good fit for. First off, I think it's a good choice for lightweight sleepers, children, and maybe teenagers as well. That's because it's a pretty simple mattress, but for someone on the lighter end, definitely offers enough support and enough comfort. It's also a good option for people who like more of that balanced foam feel. It has a little bit of soft foam feel on top, but it's also responsive as well, so not hard to move around on the elements. And then last but not least, it is very, very affordable. It's the most affordable mattress from Casper, so those who want something simple, want to save some money, should definitely take a look at the Element. And now let's talk about the cons of who I think the Element might not be the best fit for. First off, if you're a heavier person, you're probably going to want to look elsewhere. This is a thinner mattress, a more simple mattress, not super supportive mattress. If you're much larger, you probably want to look for something with coils in the construction. Also, it's not the best choice for side sleeping unless you're very, very light. People who are average weight or heavy are going to press right through that comfort layer, feel some serious pressure on their shoulders and their hips, and it won't be very comfortable. And then last but not least, again, this is a very simple mattress. If you want something more durable, more complex, more advanced, you're probably going to want to look elsewhere. Now, if you're taking a look at the Element, you might want to know how it compares to the original Casper mattress, and I want to do that right now. So first off, the main difference between these two types of mattresses is a zone construction. So the original Casper mattress has a proprietary zone support system in the mattress that basically makes it firmer and more supportive when you're on your back and stomach, softer, more pressure relieving when you're on your side. You do not find that construction in the Element. It's a much simpler, streamlined mattress. There's also some firmness differences as well. In my experience, the original Casper was close to a 7 out of 10. It's a little bit firmer than average, and the Element was closer to an 8 out of 10, even firmer than average. So because of these differences, they're going to be a better fit for different types of sleepers. For instance, the original Casper mattress is going to be a better choice for back sleepers, heavier sleepers, and those who want something more substantial. However, those who are lightweight and those who want to save some money on their mattress probably want to take a look at the Casper Element. So when you get the Casper Element at your house, it's going to come in a cardboard box. But it's pretty easy to unbox if you follow these simple steps. First off, ask a friend for help. Don't overexert yourself. Ask for the help getting this mattress inside and into your bedroom. Now once you've done that, you can open the top of the cardboard box, take out the rolled up mattress. You're going to place the rolled up mattress on your frame or foundation, and you're ready to start cutting through the layers of plastic. Now, do this carefully, you don't want to damage the mattress as you're doing this. Now, once you get to the final layer of plastic, it's going to pop open pretty quickly. Clear away all the plastic, all the packing materials, then give it about 24 to 48 hours to completely off gas. So now I want to give you some additional information about the Casper Element mattress. First off, it comes with free shipping and returns, a 100 night sleep trial, a 10 year limited warranty. They also offer accessories, other mattress models, and they offer financing as well. So now I want to answer some frequently asked questions about the Casper Element mattress. The first question is, is the Casper Element worth it? And in my experience, it's definitely worth it for people who want to save some money. It's a good value mattress, a good match for children, lightweight sleepers, and teenagers. But not the best investment if you're a larger person, a side sleeper, and want more of an advanced mattress. Second question is, is the Casper Element firm? And in my experience, it is a firmer mattress. It has a thinner comfort layer, so when I'm on this mattress, I kind of press right through that, feel more of the support layers beneath. But I'm 250 pounds. If you're a lighter person, it might feel softer to you. If you're even heavier than me, it might feel firmer to you. And the final question is, does the Casper Element sleep hot? Now, in our experience, it did not sleep hot. This Airscape foam is very breathable. It's perforated as well for some nice airflow and has a nice breathable cover. So for us, it did not sleep hot. In the end, I think the Casper Element is a good choice for lightweight sleepers and those who want to save some money. But if you're a heavier person, you're more of a side sleeper, I'd probably look elsewhere. But that's about it. Just getting started looking for a mattress or bedding, head over to mattressclary.com. We also do a lot of videos just like this. Hit the like button and subscribe.